Prior to October 7th, she was a fashionable jewellery designer, but since then, Shlomit Ophir's pieces have become trendy and viral. Take a look at this masterpiece, a beautifully crafted pendant of a heart with a hole in the shape of a Star of David. The piece is called Lev Otef, and 20% of the sales are donated to the residents of the Kibbutzim near the Gaza border, as well as the families of some of the hostages. She has managed thus far to raise over 200,000 shekels, that's roughly the equivalent of around 55,000 US dollars. Well, here with me in studio is jewelry designer Shlomit Ofer. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for being with me. Hi, thank you for having me. The piece Lev Otef is a incredibly clever play on words. For those that maybe don't speak Hebrew or don't fully understand, explain a little bit about the name of it and exactly what the piece means. Okay, so um, Otef basically, um, the verbal meaning of Otef is um, wrapping or um, holding um, and in Israel we have Otef Aza which means uh, the the part of, of land um, and the settlements, kibbutzim, um, villages that are surrounding Gaza and basically are wrapping as uh, Gaza. Um, and um, after uh, October 7th, um, as a jewelry designer and as a business owner uh, that employs dozens of women here in Israel, um, basically I found myself a little bit helpless. Um, we were all in, you know, terrible shock uh, because of everything that has happened. Um, and on the business side, um, our activity has just stopped. I own uh, four shops, which remained closed. Uh, my workers were sitting part of the time at home, and um, our revenue has, you know, just stopped coming in. Uh, and then uh, I thought, okay, what what can we do? Um, so after um, a lot of uh, um, um, volunteer work that we have done uh, with people who have been uh, evacuated from their homes, um, I decided to design uh, uh, two pieces of jewelry. Um, it's a bracelet that you can see here and the necklace, which I'm also wearing. Um, and they have uh, the shape of, uh, of a heart with a hole inside, uh, shaped like a Magen David, like a Star of David. Um, for me, it was a very intuitive uh, design. Um, I just felt like this heart of ours has uh, a hole in it after what happened on October 7th, and this hole has a shape of our uh, Jewish and Israeli identity, um, which is also um, something that you could say um, is very sad, but I also feel that is very um, hopeful and meaningful because this gap um, has so much space to fill up with so many you know, good things to come. Um, so basically, I designed these pieces of jewelry um, to raise donations uh, for uh, the kibbutzim surrounding Gaza and for uh, the families of the hostages and for, in general, people who were hurt by this terrible attack. Um, and also to help my business um, start working again and help uh, um, my employees uh, be busy around something that you know can can unite them. Um, and we didn't expect to have such a response um, to these two pieces of jewelry. Um, we've sold um, tens of thousands of these all over the world. We received orders from the USA, from Canada, from all over Europe, from South Africa, Australia, like anything you could think of, uh, mostly uh, Jewish women that felt um, this is a way to also contribute and donate, but also um, this is something they could wear uh, to identify um, and to feel part. We've received uh, photos of uh, entire families wearing this. I wanted to thank you so much for being with me in studio.